A Peripal cryptocurrency lawyer believes the fintech business will prevail in its fight against the Securities and Exchange Commission. On April 11, Peripal attorney Jeremy Hogan wrote a long thread explaining why he believes the firm would prevail. The SEC filed a lawsuit against the corporation and its officials in December 2020, accusing them of marketing unregistered securities. The lawsuit has been ongoing for almost two years. However, the conclusion might be a watershed event for the whole U.S. crypto businesses. This is a nuanced legal battle that may determine the future of crypto as we know it, Hogan added. Finance Doc brings a brief report on what attorney Jeremy Hogan had to say on the ongoing lawsuit between Ripple and SEC. At Finance Doc, we will be sharing more explanation videos related to cryptocurrencies, trading, forex, and many more. While you are already here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notifications for our future videos. So, let's begin the video. XRP is decentralized, or is it? Ripple said that anything must have a contract in order to be deemed a security. The Howey test, on which the SEC's reasoning is based, requires this. Hogan, on the other hand, highlighted that the agency mentioned other examples in which there was no documented contractual agreement. It has even had success in circumstances when there was no investment contract. This is bad news for Ripple. Hogan believes the Ripple papers include enough information for the trial judge to find in its favor. He emphasized that it is based on one thing, decentralization. Traditional purchases require a contract since they are made by centralized bodies. This is why they lost their SEC lawsuits, according to Hogan. Historically, securities have been sold by centralized sellers, he explained before adding. The difference in crypto is that it does make sense to purchase crypto because it is decentralized. No one owns the network. And so it makes sense that someone might purchase XRP as an investment without having a contract with anyone. This is the key differentiator. If the judge understands the technology, Ripple will win on this issue. He added. Ripple use cases a better argument. However, one may argue that because XRP is managed by Ripple, it is centralized. The fintech business has held almost half of the entire quantity of XRP tokens in escrow and will issue them on its own timeline. This varies from Bitcoin supply, which is managed by the proof-of-work process, or Ethereum supply, which is governed by proof-of-stake consensus. With this in mind, Ripple's use cases may be a more compelling argument for why it will prevail. Banks and financial organizations all around the globe utilize XRP Ledger. As a result, XRP is primarily a cross-border payment mechanism rather than a security. At the time of recording this video, XRP has gained 4% on the day to reach $0.525. Who will win in the Ripple vs SEC case? Who are you supporting in this case? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Also, if you have any feedback for us, don't forget to share that too. Your opinion is important to us. See you in another video with some more exciting news, until then take care and keep investing in crypto. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on our upcoming videos.